what's up y'all i just had to take a quick second to do a little video on uh the deontay wilder uh wilder a fury three fight and i'm not gonna see him be one of those people to wear, to make excuses about wilder shit or whatever happened with the gloves and all that shit um i just don't like this whole shit that people are putting out there of that they're counting wilder out that this motherfucker's making videos bro this motherfucker defended his title 10 times 10 times and i know all this shit he's saying we don't know if it's true I, I mean, I believe something happened. I don't know what happened, but something happened. But we're all going to find out on the 24th um, of July what the really fucking shit happened because now ain't no excuses. And the first fight, you can agree with me or you can't agree with me. I don't give a fuck. The first fight, Fury got knocked out. He got up. He fought back. Okay. But he was knocked out. They usually would have waved that off. Okay, your eyes roll back and you look like this, that's it. It's a wrap for you. But they let it continue. Okay, it was cute. The second fight, it felt like to me the whole time something was wrong with him. But whatever, we lost. Now this third time, we're going to see what's happening. But what's, what's pissing me off is that this is this thing like, oh, he can't win. He, like, bro, this is boxing. What do you mean he can't win? Sometimes it's just not your night. But this whole thinking like, like Wilder can't. I have firm belief that he will get the job done this time. And y'all going to see some crazy ass shit where it's going to put everything to bed. It's just like, Fury's a good fighter. Wilder's a good fighter. I think Wilder's just a better fighter. I think it just wasn't his night. You can think whatever you want. Your own opinion, I don't give a fuck. But don't get mad when people have my opinion to defend the shit. Bomb squad. I'm going to ride for my guy. That's my guy. So I'm going to ride and I'm going to die for him. Regardless, you know, that's how I roll. If I fuck with you, we going until the ship falls off. Until the plane crashes, till the fat lady sings. And after. I got to stop trying to look at myself so much in the camera. But, I put my hat on. But, um, so that's all I wanted to say, man. And, and you know what? Y'all comment below what y'all think, man. I, I'm, I'm already making my pick. I pick Wilder by knockout. I say within, I think it's going to be three rounds. Um, especially if, if, if Fury comes forward Like he did last time I think he's going to get knocked out really bad And I think everybody's going to wake up And be like what the fuck And then the biggest fight that was Everybody's trying to make the Fury Joshua fight Seem like it was the biggest fight But for a long time Y'all motherfuckers forgot Y'all forgot my people The Fury and Wilder I mean the Fury I mean the Wilder and Joshua fight Was the biggest fight And Joshua did not want to fight Wilder now he's coming out with videos saying like, and I didn't say he was scared. I don't think anybody's scared once you make it to that level. Ain't no scared. I think ain't. I don't think there's no scared once you make it to that level. Um, as far as smart, uh, ways of moving because you want to make more money, I think uh, that could be a part of it. One of the reasons why they didn't want to see Wilder. But remember, that was the biggest fight. That was the biggest fight. Okay, that was the biggest fight. That they had, I mean, sorry, that was the biggest fight that was supposed to be made before um, Wilder, remember, he recovered. This is what I don't get. Y'all calling Wilder a liar, he's making up excuses, calling him a liar, don't even give the man a chance. Tyson Fury was using drugs, alcohol, abusing drugs, alcohol, um, attempted suicide, and he overcame all that. More power to you, man. If you overcame that shit, man, that shit, mental health, okay. But this dude was a drug addict, took steroids. And this guy Wilder is clean as a whistle, works out every day, and then he can't even say some shit because even when he says some shit, y'all gonna call him last. And you wonder why he was in the press conference was so quiet. I wanna say shit either. I'm tired of saying shit. Y'all finna take this shit, manipulate it, fuck with my head. I wanna beat your ass so we can get this all this bullshit of you talking all this shit over. It's a wrap. I want my belt back. I'm gonna whoop your ass in front of everybody, and it is what it is. Ain't no more talking. If y'all even been in a regular fight, let alone a fucking fight like this magnitude. Regular fight, you that's the point. You don't want to talk to the person no more, bro. I know you got to promote the fight. This fight's already promoted. This is some real bad blood. He, there's already too much talking that went on. This person's accusing this person of cheating. The only person I've seen that's actually been, been actually uh, objective is Aki TV. Okay, the only person out there, Aki TV is the only people that have been actually presenting. Evidence and actually looking at both sides, not just assuming on people's shit. That's just real shit, okay?
And I'm gonna be doing videos like this all the time on some on shit that I think I don't. I'm not a sports analyst. I'm just a motherfucker that likes fighting. I love boxing. I love uh, uh, MMA. I really love boxing more than I don't say I love it more. I think I just grew up watching boxing more, so I'm more attached to it. But my name is Carry My Bags, bitch. I'm gonna be dropping all type of vlog videos and videos of me just uh, of saying what I think is going, you know, of what I'm thinking about. I was really thinking about that and I just wanted to make a video because somebody commented me back on a video. And I call him pretty much a Fury D rider. Especially, this is what fucks me up. The British people ride for their guy. And even Americans, this is how it fucks up. And, and when, especially when Wilder said it's a, it's, a, it's a race thing. And I know, you know, it, it's always about race. Because it's funny how people from America will rather root for a white guy from Europe. Maybe I'm put, maybe I'm tripping, but that 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 to me is fucked up. That that like even when the in the first fight when he got knocked out, that shit should have been waved off. If that would have happened in England, if Tyson Fury were to knock Wilder out unconscious, there's no referee in England that would have not waved that fight off. And the count was late. But when you land like this, and I know everybody wants to see another fight, but when you get knocked out, you got knocked out, you lost the fight. Remember, something was wrong with Wilder in the second fight, but we're just going to see. We're going to see what really is up because enough talking, bro. Enough talking. I can't wait to see it. And I'm going to make another video of it also on the Davis fight. Um, and I'll do my pick tomorrow of who I'm going to pick to win that fight. And you don't know who I'm going to pick because that fight looks a real tough. Davis really stepped up. He went up to 140. That's crazy. So I'm going to be doing a video on that. But comment below, man. What the fuck y'all think, man? Um, it's carrying my bass, bitch. Like, subscribe, comment. Hit that bell button if you want to subscribe to my channel. I talk about a lot of stuff that's happened to me in my life. Also, stuff that's happening in the world right now. You'll see me, probably sometimes my kids in it. I'm boxing in it, doing a lot of stuff, man. If you want to learn about my life, click the link in the bottom, man. And uh, I hope you guys get to see the fight. It's July 24th, man. Tune in, man. And they just dropped the, the fight trailer, so that should be pretty cool. Hopefully, there's another press conference, man. While I'm out of here, man, hit me up.